we had a speech, he said, you have something to say about men, of course. You know, and, and our humble home, oh, Ben is here, thank you. If I had known the guys were here, we, we could play something, you know? But it started too early. But ben was like, look, he used to live with Zavinu. You know, when I played with Cannonball, Ben was living with Zavinu up on Central Park West, yeah. And uh, I have, in, in, in our home, we have a beautiful photo of Big Ben. Have you seen the one with Train on his arms mm -hmm. and, his, and his bosom crying? Yes. You seen it? Yeah, with Torchon? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. That's a rare photo. Yeah, I have that. Uh, who made that photo? The Carver. You know? Mm -hmm. Great photographer, yeah. Yeah. But it's a great honor to be here. And you have a street for him, or, or a park, or a national park, a forest? For him, I'm Dexter Court. Oh, Dex. It's an avenue, almost. Dex, wow. I loved him, too. So, Dex told Prez, he said, you know, he said, you know, I'm getting kind of upset, you know, Joe, Gene Ammons is stealing all my stuff. And Prez looked at <laughs> looked at Dex and said, oh, is that so, Lady, lady Dex? You know, who, who are you stealing? <laughs> yeah, right. Anyway, yeah, so, but it's a beautiful uh, fraternity to belong to, and I, I thank you deeply for letting me in. I'm still trying to play some ballads, like, you know, the inspiration from Big Ben and Prez and all of that, you know, and that uh, lady, so. This tradition is very rich and very beautiful, and I applaud you for uh, giving exile and homage to uh, these great masters. It's a beautiful thing that you folks did. And there's also a cemetery somewhere. Does it still exist? Did they move it or build an apartment building on it or something? No, no, they're there. Oh, they're there? Ken, sure. Kenny was Kenny, there? Kenny Drew. And, uh... I wanted Jason and I and, and Ruben to see that cemetery because the lady who drove us over here said that they were there. They move the cement, they make an apartment building. No, no, Don't no, do that to the artist. No, no, huh? no, 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 no. It's a big, big group. Metro. Metro. It's still there. Yeah, sure. There's a corner in the very end. I know. It, I loved it. I loved it. Yeah. Could we take you up there? Oh, I love it. Could, could we do that? Yeah, sure. Oh, man. That would float my boat. Okay. Uh, well, anyway, pardon me for bothering you, but I just wanted to say the honor is it's very touching uh, for this because I uh, remember all the great masters and I sat at the feet of Johnny Hodges and Harry Carney also and uh, they told my mother to make sure that I would be a doctor, lawyer, or Indian chief. And, uh, <laughs> They said this stuff is too hard, you know. But uh, the Indian chief part, I'm still working on. The other stuff doesn't interest me, you know. And Prez has still got that covered. He's the only Prez for me. But Big Ben, he played those ballads, you know, in Chelsea Bridge and stuff, you know. I'm not mature enough to play Chelsea Bridge like he did, but one day I want to I want to play that with Jason, you know. And uh, Isfahan, too, Jason. I'm still trying to get to that, yeah. Isfahan. Yeah. Yeah, strays. Yeah. The choir just kept a lot of that stuff as strays. You know that, right? Most of it. Thank you. <laughs> Any questions here? Yeah, I have. Please. I have only answer this. And if John Eastwood still looks for Mr. Lloyd is. Please. Please. No. Uh, if you talk about Ben, uh, he sort of established his style, what shall we say, in 19. Well, when he was about. 25. Mary Lou and all of that too. Yeah, and uh, and he sort of stuck to it, except that he developed the ballads uh, more and more in his mm -hmm. later years. Mm -hmm. But somehow you are, you are also very uh, uh, conservative, but you found your style way back, oh, not style, but your music, and and uh, are you, you, you developed to here, and you're staying there. No, you're, you're not changing much, are you? Change. You know, I'm getting in with the. I have to call Jason up here now because he's in deep waters. Yeah, I, I can't speak. You know, to tell you the truth, the stuff that I do now is uh, all up to him. You know, and when he gives it to me, then I have it. I don't have, don't have a, I would say, no authorship anymore. I'm in service. Yeah. And so when he gives it to me, I can jump up on the ceiling and fly around. But if he doesn't give it to me, I'm sad. 
And he does give it to you quite often. Quite blessed. Yeah. <laughs> and then I have these great masters playing with me that inspire me a lot. You know, they're much more mature than I am, but I'm still uh, working on uh, how to say growing whole. W H O L E whole. Not ah, yeah. And uh, as Satchel Page said, uh, age is a matter of mind over matter. And if you don't mind, it doesn't matter. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm not, I'm not signing up for lobotomy or anything. Huh? They listen. You know? that's, that's Ruben Rogers. My base is Ruben Rogers. Yeah. I think Eric had some little nocturnal sojourn last night with Love the Denmark, so I don't think he's here yet, but I hope he's enjoying himself. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. But, you know, yeah, sorry. But you're, you're playing tonight again in the uh, we, we play a game tonight. I used to play uh, six nights a week in New York, uh, five, six sets a night, 45 on, 15 off, from nine to four. I don't do that anymore. But, uh, I'm training my boys to be able to do that if anyone calls us, you know, back to Birdland or something. Yeah. <laughs> you do like four sets in one night? Yeah. No, we do six sets. Six sets. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> okay. that's, that's when you learn to what pay the dues or what's the expression? You learn to, to respect work. Uh, and that's what We didn't know any better. But the beautiful thing was that we wanted another chance to tell the truth every night. So. Um, as McCoy said to me once, uh, we had to bake the cake, and youngsters now get it out of a box. You know? mm-hmm. So we were learning to bake the cake every night. You know? And the beautiful thing about that is that you do get blessed, and uh, you get raised up like you were talking about. But Ben and, and Mary Lou and all that stuff, you know, and did you, you know the story about Ben when you heard Bird for the first time coming out of a record store? No. He said, oh, my master's calling, I'm coming, I'm coming. He went and bought the record. Yeah. Yeah, you hear Bird, yeah. Because Bird was playing our Tatum yeah. on the saxophone, and Ben could, mm-hmm. could operate on the piano, too. Piano forte, sorry. Oh, that's a good What else do you need? It was Avenue in London very much, you know. Okay. Yes. And, uh, they lived up there on Central Park. They made some beautiful tapes together that nobody knew Tintin. Oh. They're still in the basement somewhere. There's a lot of stuff, you know. We play this stuff every night and it goes out into the air, but it's around. Mm-hmm. You just have to be able to tune into it. It's in the it's in the, it's it's in the walls. It's in the walls, yeah. It's mass. Is it old stuff there, man? Mm-hmm. I like that. Hieroglyphics and stuff. Yeah, this, this is your original yeah. from nineteen fifty eight, yeah. And I'm not I'm not drinking nothing funny. That's beautiful. <laughs> I had to stop drinking two years ago. Yeah. <laughs> Only two years? Only two years now, so my boys have a chance to matriculate and, uh, and uh, mm-hmm. so by the time they get up in here, they might stop too. <laughs> <laughs> Are they going to have a spirit on the table of intelligent questions from the room? What's your greatest personal memory of, of Ben Webster? Oh, just that he... He was patrician, you know, and whenever, whenever I would see him or hear him, it would be like a little puppy at his feet, you know. So I would always go to hear him when I could. You know, he could play a lot in the city in those days. But uh, Zabinu loved him so much, and uh, he, he's one of the big sounds, and see what he could do with the ballad. You say he came to that later, but people say he played gruff, you know, but for me, I, I heard all that tenderness, you know, he, and also Master Hawkins, Coleman Hawkins, he was a little bitty guy towards the end, he'd be at the vanguard, and, oh, my, 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 my bourbon, and he would, um, I'm, I'm, I'm digressing now talking about Coleman and the Hawk, but he was a little bitty little guy, and, and uh, I would sit in the back room with him, on the beer cases and stuff in the vanguard, and he would look at me and he would be imparting stuff, you know, like the wise men know stuff and they don't they don't speak it, but it's looking at trans transmission. So I got some direct transmissions from Ben too, you know. <laughs> and so uh, because I was like a young whippersnapper, you know. But um, 
Ben did something for the music that I'm uh, very, very blessed by the Creator. So uh, I, I don't have knowledge of his period with Mary Lou and all of that early stuff and his piano playing, but uh, his sound. Uh, I'm always telling telling my technician that I want to have a sound like Big Ben, you know, and they, they really <laughs> laugh at me, you know. So that's not about to happen, but uh, I, I love them, yeah. I have a question. Uh, you were here in 66, I believe. I don't know. You were. Did, oh, yeah. did, you, did you meet ben, ben Webster? He was here too. Uh, 66. I met him, of course, in New York many times, but it was not in those. But uh, in 66, I was medicated, I self-medication a lot, so I don't remember a lot about what I was doing then. I do remember that Dex, Dex and I were supposed to meet in Paris, and he didn't show up for a certain, we'd been hanging out all week, and he didn't show up the next day, and then I read in the paper that they had incarcerated him, you know, which was very, which was a bummer for me, uh, that they would bother these people, you know, and uh, and Sam Jones told me a story that he was with Dexter. And uh, does it, does it, is it okay if I can talk about the Pantheon? Yeah. 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 So he was with Dexter, and Dexter had a lovely lady, you know. And so Sam asked him the next day, how, how was it with this lady? And I said, he said, well, she was a he, but I took her anyway. <laughs> Sorry, Miss. Okay. <laughs> I have one more question. You, you were one of the first uh, leaders to find uh, Keith Jarrett. He was on that 66 tour. Um, how did you find Keith Jarrett? How did you spot him? Oh, well, you can hear around the corner and you hear stuff. I was playing with Cannonball Adderley in uh, Boston in about 64 or 5 at the at the jazz workshop and uh, downstairs. And he tells the story differently. He said, I heard his piano trio. He didn't have no trio. He was playing in a bar upstairs in the middle of the bar, like how we used to walk the bar. But he, you know what walking the bar means? Uh -huh. Big J McNeely called me once. Anyway, so uh, he was playing uh, behind the singer. And uh, she was fine, so I think he was smitten, you know. But he, would, but I could hear it, and so during our intermissions, I'd come up for a breath of air, and to to have a little uh, what do you call those things, a little air, yeah, yeah. And then I would hear the piano bar the upstairs uh, for the people waiting to come downstairs to hear us, and I could hear he could matriculate, and so uh, then he would run downstairs when he had a break to to hear me with Cannon, you know. And so one time I was on the road with uh, uh, Pete LaRocca and Gabor Zabo and uh, uh, Albert Stenson. And uh, Junior called me on the phone and said that he always wanted to play with me, so. But he was with Art Blakey. He said he was unhappy he wanted to join me. And I said, well, when I get back to New York, we'll, we'll uh, check it out. So that's how it started. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And also, of course, Michel. Uh, I don't really. You played in the other Montmartre with uh, Michel Petrucciani. Yeah. And uh, do you remember that uh, Bobby McFerrin came and sat in on your set? Yeah. I, that. Yeah, yeah, I. I, I record of Blue Note. Uh, but it's also on the film. Oh. And may I have a copy? We never yes, seen it. you've never, never seen it? it? No, may I have a copy tonight? Of course, not to. <laughs> I put it in my bag. <laughs> I, I, I got it at home and I will make it, but I wonder if you can play uh, DVDs on, uh, you have to have to have to NTSC system or something, don't you? Yeah. Yeah. But she has a technician. Okay, I'll get it, I'll get it to you to, tonight. Thank you. Yeah. Can you come back tonight? Yeah. Oh, great. For the end of the session. And, I, and uh, this poster, of Ben also comes with the. Uh, Wait a minute, now you get deep. I'm happy to, to receive all this, but you got a post office, I hope, because we're, <laughs> we're, we're, on, we're on tour for a month and we just started. Good. We just started. <laughs> and uh, they loaded us up in Montreux with stuff. Yeah. 
course, they were kind enough to mail it to us, but what you got, I posted a big Ben I'd want. You all should get that photo of Ben, Big Ben, and we're trying crying on his on his shoulder because uh, the majesty of the man is is un, un, unparalleled. You know, you you have not seen it? I've seen it in a, in a magazine twenty years ago, but I haven't. No, I have it. You can buy an original copy of it. Yeah. Yeah. Ben and Trent. Oh. Yeah. Uh, you don't know that for sure. Yes, I do. The guy Roy DeCarva. He has he has archives, and they. You can get stuff from our archives. You can buy Jason's stuff from his his uh, setup. So it's all available, and I would rather for us to uh, have it ourselves than having the, the pimps and, and mer mer marketeers uh, just take it all and just give us drugs and stuff. Yeah. So, uh, so we put all in the package and send it to you back in the box. Yeah, but I but I need a I need a, a word. I mean I need. Trust in your word. <laughs> Where's my trust? <laughs> he had died, that's Christian. He needs the trust word. All right, beautiful. We need trust, yeah. We have five people here from the foundation. So. Oh, where are they? May you raise your hands from the foundation? One, two. Wow. Hold it. Yeah, hold it. Hold it. Hold it. Hold it. You who wanted a hand? Bravo. 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 I also hope the foundation would be kind to take Dorothy, Ruben, and uh, Jason, and uh, I don't think Eric is going to crawl in here, but if you go, uh, I want, I want to, them to see where, where Big Ben is laid out and, and Kenny Drew and all of that. And, uh, okay. that, that thing, I used to think I wanted, I wanted to be interned out there until I went to Mother India and realized that, that it would be better to burn me instead of uh, doing that. Yeah. But she'll figure that out. Dorothy will. All right. We can do that. Any other, any other questions or thoughts? One more? You should meet Eric. Yeah. Yeah. Go ahead. Just don't pay. Yeah, yeah. Hold up. I'm just holding. Oh, I'm sorry. Sorry. I thought you were, I thought you were busy. <laughs> okay, Charles. Nice pantaloons. Yeah, thank you. Thank you. Thank you.